Let's take a look at the profit margin worksheet on the Texas Instruments BA2 Plus calculator. Now what this does is if you know the selling price and the cost, it calculates the profit margin. Or for example, you could figure out what price to sell your good at if you know what profit margin you want and how much it costs you to produce each unit of the good. So let's take a look here. Um, at an example. Suppose the price is ten dollars and the cost is six and a quarter. Well, how do you figure out profit margin? Well, profit margin is going to be price minus cost divided by price. And in this case it's going to be ten minus six and a quarter divided by ten. It turns out to be thirty seven and a half percent. So let's see if we can do this on the calculator using the profit margin worksheet. So here you're going to hit second and the above the three key it says profit and it's going to ask you for cost so six and a quarter and you hit enter to get it into the calculator. It's going to ask you for the selling price here we know what it is it's ten dollars enter and then we get down to margin and we just hit compute and it tells us it's thirty seven and a half percent. What happens if we um, decide that, well, let's clear this. Let's clear this worksheet. So if you want to clear the worksheet, you need to be in the worksheet. You hit second, clear work. And suppose we know the cost. Suppose the cost is um, $12 per unit. And suppose we would like to have a 30 percent margin here. So we can put in 30 percent here and we can calculate what price we need to sell the good for. So we'll need to sell the good for seventeen dollars and fourteen cents approximately in order to earn a 30 percent return or have a 30 percent margin. So you can use this to solve any one of these three variables as long as you know two of them. If you know if you know the uh, the price and the cost, you can solve for profit margin. If you know the cost and profit margin, you can solve for price. Or if you know the price and the profit margin, you can solve for cost. Let's try that one. So let's say, for example, we want to sell this this good for let's say $125. And let's say we'd like to have a margin of 42%. So now we can try and figure out what cost we'll need to be able to produce this at in order to be able to meet our goal. So we're going to have to be able to produce it at $72.50. And, uh, $72 and if we're not able to produce it at $72.50, and we want this profit margin of 42 percent, then this may not be feasible for us to produce. So this is kind of a handy calculation. It's pretty easy to calculate profit margin, but the fact that it can go backwards and forwards allows you to, allows, it makes the calculations much easier. So this is a little clever um, function they have on the calculator. It's not, again, it's not a hard calculation, but it's kind of a handy one to know about.